Coming up, our remembrance of singer-songwriter John Stewart, a man who owes his biggest success to a bunch of monkeys. Casey's Coast to Coast, American Top 40. American Top 40 is heard in the 50 states and around the world every week on great radio stations like WOHO, Toledo, Ohio. 99X New York, New York, and KIIS AM and FM Los Angeles, California. The song at number 37 this week is a debut song by John Stewart. It's called Gold. When the lights go down in the California town, American Top 40. Now, the story of that singer who has a very unusual hobby, something I've never heard of before. He's not a dentist, but he makes his own artificial teeth. Now, that might be a funny story if it wasn't so unfortunate. The singer is John Stewart, and John suffers from an unusual jaw disease called temporomandibular joint syndrome. One symptom of it is a tendency to constantly grind your teeth together, and that grinds down the lower front teeth. Well, because of this, John has had to have his lower teeth capped, but he still grinds down the caps. So, after years of running up expensive dental bills, he decided he'd learn how to make his own caps. He says it saved him a lot of money, and he likes to think of it as a hobby, making artificial teeth. That's the first top 40 hit for former Kingston Trio member John Stewart. He's up to number six with gold. Well, now, our story of the famous trio who once had all their cash stolen by a kangaroo dressed in a sports coat. That was the surprise ending to a harmless but bizarre joke that the Kingston Trio were pulling. This was back in the early 60s when the Kingston Trio were at the height of their popularity following such hits as Tom Dooley and Where Have All the Flowers Gone. They were touring Australia, obviously, or this wouldn't be a kangaroo story. Their manager, Frank Werber, told us that one day between gigs, they were driving across open country. Suddenly, a big kangaroo jumped out of the bush and bounced off their car. Well, they hit the brakes and ran back to see if it was all right. But the poor animal was just lying there, very still and apparently dead. Now, the trio had been touring for quite a while, maybe a little too long without a rest and their sense of humor got a little strange. While two of the guys picked up the stiff kangaroo and held it upright, manager Werber took off his sports coat and put it on the animal. Fortunately, they both wore a 38 regular. Another member put his hat on the dead kangaroo, and then they all clustered in a group to have their pictures taken with their newfound Australian buddy. At that point, the kangaroo, who was only stunned, regained consciousness and went bounding off into the Australian desert, wearing a hat and a sports jacket. And in the pockets of that sports jacket were the receipts from the Kingston Trio's concert of the night before. There went not only the best dressed, but also the richest kangaroo in Australia. This week, a former member of the Kingston Trio continues to hop up the charts. This is Casey Kasem on AT40 in Hollywood, and now the hit by that singer who was suddenly dropped by his label. So, after 15 years of building up a loyal following, he asked his fans for help, and they got him a contract. The artist we're talking about is John Stewart. Now, since John left the Kingston Trio 15 years ago, he's been through three record labels and has produced nine albums. And he's developed a sizable and enthusiastic following. So enthusiastic, in fact, that live John Stewart concerts tend to be a wild and hooping event. But John's fans just weren't buying enough of his records to keep his record companies happy. So, not very long ago, John found himself with no label to record for. One night in Los Angeles, feeling that he was at the end of his rope, John asked the audience at the Palomino Club to write letters to RSO Records asking them to sign John Stewart. And Al Corey, president of RSO, got so many letters he decided to give John a chance. His first album for RSO didn't do very well. But his second album, and his last chance with that label, roared into the top ten on the LP chart. Thanks to the fans. The fans who are concerned enough to take the trouble to write a letter. American Top 40. I'm Robert W. Morgan, sitting in for Casey Kasem this week on American Top 40. With the third debut song on our countdown, here's John Stewart coming in at number 38 with Midnight Wind.
Well, now we're up to our remembrance of singer-songwriter John Stewart, a man who owes his biggest success to a bunch of monkeys. These days, the best-known John Stewart is the political commentator on Comedy Central. But back in the 60s and 70s, another John Stewart made a big impact on popular music. He was a member of the Kingston Trio one of the most successful folk groups of all time. But he's probably known best as the man who wrote the song Daydream Believer, which became a number one pop smash for the Monkees in 1967. Over the years, John recorded hundreds of songs, including his 1979 smash Gold. He had more than 45 albums to his credit, and one of them can be found on Rolling Stone's list of the 200 best albums of all time. John Stewart's album... California Bloodlines. That's our remembrance of singer-songwriter John Stewart, who died recently at age 68. I'm Casey Kasem. Now on with the survey. And there you have them, the 20 hottest adult hits in the USA, based on official airplay data provided by MediaBase 24-7, published every week in USA Today. American Top 20 is produced in Hollywood. If you have a question for us or a long-distance dedication, you can write to us at American Top 20, P.O. Box 1110, Hollywood, California, 90028. Or you can email us at Casey1110 at AOL.com. American Top 20 is a production of the Premier Radio Networks. AT20 was created by Casey Kasem and Don Bastani. Produced by Lori Crimmy. Our staff includes Matt Wilson, Meryl Schindler, and Toby James Petty. Production and engineering by Michael Cooper. I'm Casey Kasem. Join me next week when once again we'll count down all the hottest hits in the USA. Till then, keep your feet on the ground and keep reaching for the stars. And leave your radio tuned right where it is. Oh,